Painted Tooth. 200 advantage against Orcs. Not bad. I don't know if I've played this guy or not before. The, the name seems familiar. He's only got one mighty blow. <gasps> the dream! The dream! He's got a lot of players. But only one mighty blow is, is fucking glorious, isn't it? One seven lost three. He's got very high TV for only ten games, hasn't he? So fingers crossed. Is he a conceder? Dwarf wall. No, they just genuinely beat him two nil. So he might not be a conceder. It's a shame. <laughs> but still one mighty blow means even if it's a draw or a loss. Shouldn't be too shouldn't be too rowdy. Yeah, the streaking gives you a big win percentage for some more points, but be, you know, a win streak of forty two, the fact that this forty two you need to play forty two games to reach your full win percentage means that it's not so much of a win streak competition. Do you know what I mean? If 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 you win if you win obviously if you win fucking fifteen in a row. You're just not going to beat someone who's played played 42 and has won 30, lock, drawn 5, lost 5 or whatever. Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot about the troll. Yeah, two mighty blow then, fair enough. Running out of time. And he's got a strong arm troll. He's got a guard. Hmm. Oh my god, he might not even get a wizard. Maybe he's thinking about scumming Ripper. Oh, glorious. This team is horrible for 1540, yeah. I agree. Glorious. The effect of the win streak, I think, he meant Imperator Augustus. Yeah, it might be an, it might be an AFK concede, but then he hasn't conceded any of his previous games. So you would have thought if he was going to concede against two hundred TV down against Killer Chaos, um, you would have thought you'd have only done that if he conceded before. Well, I would think that anyway. But I don't think he will concede. But then that was weird that he didn't take any inducements, was it? Very strange. Oh god, two claw palm. <laughs> so glorious. You just need piling on on the on the beast man. And it's uh This is a fucking oh god he's got grab there. Is that strip and grab? Strip grab blitzer. Grab strong arm, dodge tackle. Mm. 
leader thrower. This match is a fucking banana skin if ever there was one. Holy shit. Yeah, he did lose 2-0 to Dwarves. Yeah, maybe he's just not going to do anything. Or, I don't know. Oh, God, I hope he just stays AFK. That'll do me, I tell you. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Just kicked my foot. Ow. 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 Ow, 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 Well, he's taking a grab. I mean, I think you're new to Blood Bowl if you're taking grab instead of guard, or mighty blow on the blitzer, or tackle, or the strip. is more of a new player, I think, than a, I don't think an expert, you know, there's some things that an experienced player, or good player, I just don't think an experienced player would take strip on an on an orc lineman, like on an orc blitzer, it just seems a random, a random thing. I don't see the rationale for that. I think once you've played, you know, guard. If you've played long enough to know how good guard is, it's hard to justify taking strip and grab on him, isn't it? He has one seven. Yeah, he's one seven lost three. Yeah. So, maybe he's not that new, I don't know, who knows. Well, yeah, inexperienced rather than bad, exactly my little, <laughs> inexperienced rather than bad, exactly, exactly my little girl. I think he just likes winning more against noobs, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. the strong arm for the one turn is obvious, but still, instead of guard, instead of guard, you know, grab instead of guard, or stand firm, grab on the blitz instead of mighty blow, or, you know, they are questionable skills. Also, Seed's set up to do the straightforward OS blocks, and then Jamali got a fucking quick snap. Like everybody who does that. Yeah, I think he's probably new, yeah. Plus, Orcs are strong anyway, aren't they, at low TV? like that. I, I didn't have records like that when I was new. When I was new, I won every single game. <laughs> but then, that wasn't, it wasn't online. So. I think I'd have done a lot worse if my first games had been online instead of versus like the local, the local games workshop people. Hello Squirrel Dude. Yeah, sorry. I've been meaning to do ogres all day, but I've just been on a run with, you know, I've been on a good run with the chaos and I've been pretty happy, so I thought, let's see if we can keep it going. Um, is grab ever worth it? It's worth it, obviously more on people who don't get general skills. I would say it's never worth it if you can get normal skills. Uh, like if you can get you know general skills on an on, without a double, I would say it's never worth grab. Um, if you only get strength skills, then like sure. After other things, but you know obviously guard and stand firm and piling on, albeit it strength wise, break tackle arguably. Yeah, obviously trees are the best one because they've got grab for they've got grab for one turning elves and grab for fouling with halflings. Yep, another another no eleven player turn again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you could take grab if it was if they just weren't better skills. You know, that's the thing.
Yeah, and tree exactly as well for that wolf bark, yeah. So, yeah, I think it is, despite despite saying it's a good run, it hasn't been that good a run, has it? Because <laughs> just losing somebody on turn one every single game. But, apart from that, it's uh, pretty good. Oh, fuck. No, I took ages to find a game after the after the leg stretch, but I like searching my legs, man. It's fucking tough just sitting playing a game. It's tough just sitting in the same fucking chair playing games all day. I like to, I like to have a bit of a leg stretch. New to Blood Bowl, the classic, the classic fascism. Oh, that sounds like a different kind of fascism. <laughs> uh, he could definitely foul, couldn't he, with three reserves and a goblin? Do I go for the big boy with his strength? I just go for the block mighty blow. I think I've got to go for the block mighty blow, right? The bad thing is, it's putting in a guard next to a troll. Which I don't like the idea of. You could block him and then get a follow up away from the mighty block. That would need a lot of players in here. He's six, so he'd need a guard and three others and block that way. Could put guards in there, block him. And then blitz him. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way. I've got to deal with the, got to deal with the guards, haven't I? Guards, the mighty blow guys. That's how he's going to win this game. Can he buy a bribe? No. Three assist foul. Yeah, what the fuck. <laughs> and to be fair, guard locking isn't her dirt basing, is it? Oh god, regen failed. Glorious. Guard locking and minimizing mighty blow hits. Happy with that. Although it does mean now I've freed him up to to hit him, I should have followed that I guess. Because now freedom to blitz him with him. Bollocks. Yeah, I should have followed. Oh shit. He's got a GFI to hit, but he, he should do it, I think. Dead troll. I wouldn't say that turn up, because I think it would be good if you could take it. Especially if you could take it on mass, you know? It's it's more like Fend in that it's really fucking niche and you just really can't take it. But, like, you know, 
Somebody said, if you, you know, somebody mentioned the idea of swapping, swapping tackle for grab on dwarf blockers, and I think a mass grab team like that would probably be fucking overpowered. But you know, the problem is, it's just really hard to take it instead of another skill you can take. Like, it's, it's really, it's super hard to overtake grab. It's hard to take Juggernaut, but at least Juggernaut gives gives you know some more solid benefits than Grab. Grab is really fucking situational. You'd be a lot better off a Chrysalina, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe Red Joker, yeah. I like the idea of only big guys could get piling on. Because then you, so you wouldn't have to remove it. It would make, it would make big guys good. Make big guys great again. Yeah, maybe I should have got that warrior. Maybe he should have stood over here. So that was obviously... It shored up this, which gave me the chance of another claw mighty blow hit. That's what I like, going hard in on this side, but... Maybe I shouldn't have, but then I've got plenty of time to run back. Orcs are pretty slow, after all. Or if big guys could get double mighty blow. Um, why both big guys? Because they're fucking shit. And in the law, they're what the fans want to see, and they're fucking brutal as fuck, and they're just really amazing. But in the game, they're just claw mighty blow fodder. Because there's just no fucking defensive skills, is there? There's regen and thick skull and being hard to hit with two dice. But or have claw not work on big guys. There's just something or start them all with block. <laughs> or lose loner or lose the nega trade. So just do something. I would just like big guys to be better. Just because I think it's a shame that they're shit. And you know, very rarely worth taking. Though, if you did buff, buff, big, buff big guys, then you would have to uh, take it away from uh, take it away from what else? Oh, eat your face! <laughs> How about just get banged on? Oh wow! Look at that making cars. Can just take the ball here, but then it would mean not blitzing with tackle <laughs> with claw palm. Um To be fair, seeing as my only tackle. I don't really know. I could claw mighty blow that guy. And then just stand him up. Now I've got a bit of him. Oh, I could have put another guard in and made it three dice. Oh, I like being able to stand up though. Be smart, man. <laughs> Three cars. Three cars in two turns. Get fucked on Ox.
pretty fucking glorious. Seems better. Should have been slightly, slightly wrong there. He should have been there, but you know, I got a bit excited by making three casts from, <laughs> from, 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 uh, from those blocks there. From three, th what? Two claw palm? No. Yeah, three claw palm blocks, three casts. Unbelievable. Die orcs, die. You mean the orcs, the? I actually knocked him out. I had, hadn't I? <laughs> I had actually knocked him out. I, I actually looked as well to say, oh, I thought, oh, I've got the plus one on the injury. I didn't even see what I'd done. It's because I'd taken the both down. That's why. That's why there wasn't a KO animation. Yeah, is the Crocs better than a Saurus? That is the question. Yes, yeah, Soros would lizard Crocs of goes on lizard man teams would be a problem. Wouldn't be a problem on Kislev, but they'd be a problem on Soros teams. Yeah, for sure. This is meant to be. And hmm. I mean, okay, he's made he's made a Kaz and a KO from nothing blocks. Um, and one dice blitzes. Still, that's a good start. He's gonna get a foul on there. Shit. Two assist foul. Sent off. Nice removal, warrior. Four remo four cas in, in in three blocks for these these warriors. Um Again I could go for the ball, but without tackle there's no point, is there? Oh my god, another Kaz! <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> this guy's probably thinking Claw, Claw Palm is a bit overpowered right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's probably... <laughs> <laughs> Probably thinking Claw Pom is a bit OP. Christmas came late for Jimmy. <laughs> yeah man kids, yeah, did 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 actually, yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was close, nearly a draw. Yeah, let's not worry about Lizman being OP, they already are, yeah. yeah. Christmas came late, that's it's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> Good show, <on> this. <laughs> yeah, Doctor <Dr. Norman> Bosco, <laughs> rocking it. Actually, Clop, I'm actually working for once. I mean, not just work. I mean, it's being lucky, obviously. You don't expect this every game from Clop, do you? Four cards from four blocks, but you know, there's been a lot of games where they haven't even broken armor after pylons and stuff. Oh, well. this is really fucking lucky. Oh, tackle. I hate that the animation doesn't play the guy with tackle. 
That always that always bugs me because he isn't the one trying to tackle him, is he? The guy with tackles the one trying to tackle him. That always bugs me when they do that. Oh man, he, en he engineered a two dice block. Clever girl. what you expect yeah it's what you expect every time you fucking you know every time one of your ogre guys when every time a snotling gets blocked you're expecting to die and stuff hey. right <laughs> so let's get Thinking I could, could I chain him on for an extra block, but not really, because I don't want to make a blitz without it being a claw pond blitz. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a lot of work to make it a three dice. I don't think it's. I don't think it'll be worth making it a three dice. That might be though. Down maybe. Oh god! <laughs> he really should have conceded. The RNG fix is in for him. Holy shit! Oh, he's, he, he saved his apple for the death and it worked. <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> What even is this game? <laughs> I greed it like an absolute shitlord. <laughs> oh god. What a laugh. <laughs> Not a Kaz from Clawpom. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Even if they were just drives. Even stuns would have been like, you know, you'd expect stuns, wouldn't you? You know? Like, you you expect kind of stuns from claw palm knockdowns. And some of them have been 70... Some have been 75% knockdowns. So, you know, you would expect a knockdown. You'd expect a stun if you're committing to pile on. But, yeah, to have made... To have made literally for five cars um, already is that is completely outrageous. But yeah, he'd be he'd be in a lot of trouble even if they'd just been stuns and KOs. To be fair. <laughs> yeah, only eight five star player finds the for legend. He could make it. Aha! And now get tackle three dice on the ball. So the uh, it was worth um, waiting for the chance. Obviously, block there in case it was a push for a claw palm hit. <laughs> I'm a break there for fuck's sake! <laughs> what is even happening? Right, who wants to score? Oh, this this warrior who's a rookie. So that's good. Easy to get the pile on unless I cast that guy. Didn't I? Don't see how I get the pile on here, do I? Oh, no, yeah, I do. All right, easy. Oh, 
Dudley Death Drop. Good job, made it three. Shit, don't have a move left. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'll tell you what I can do. I can just pick it up with that guy. And get a pass as well. Perfect. I mean, really good to get the completion on him as well, wouldn't it? The reason that I didn't pile on was because I thought I had a square left of movement, so I was trying to clear the path for him to get the recovery. But yeah, I should have. I should agree, pile on it. You're correct. Yeah, absolutely correct. Fucking pass. Good lad. Let me fuck off over there. Should have done these moves first, shouldn't I? But you know, it's harder to care. Hard at the care when the game's this close. <laughs> I am going to, Mr. Yem and Dem. Um, I'm going to, don't worry. Um, there was a reason why I hadn't. Um, oh, because of my foot, that's it. I, I don't want to get off the internet. I want to, I want to like, you know, go, go to a shop. Um, and then, you know, try it out in the shop and make sure I get a good one. I don't want to just get it off the internet. So, um... I'm waiting for my foot to get better, completely healed, and then I should have put the tackle next to him, and I didn't. And I knew, I realised that as soon as I didn't, I was like, "Oh fuck, the tackler's over there." But I guess at least he's run away, it means I can get to hit him again. So that's something. Wow, oh, he's standing them up. Now, now it's confirmed that he's a beginner. Wow, standing them up. Absolute madness. Absolute madness. This can get an extra block here, can't it, if this is a push? Palm on him. Claw mighty on him. God. I finally, I finally loop packed it after all these years. I finally had loop pack level luck. God. Holy shit. 
shit. <laughs> good morning, buddy Gree. Oh god, what a fucking hell. Like, fair play to him for sticking it out, but conceding would have been his best play for sure. Because there's no way he's getting a win. And it's unlikely that the money and the MVP he's going to get is going to make up for the banging he's about to receive. It wasn't even my drive, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Six cars. Because he used his apple. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the goblin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It was like it was pretty much the only guy who didn't get his armor broken. Even when the fucking non-claw guys were, were blocking, they were getting AV breaks. Right, I've got to go for like three nil, maybe even four nil now, haven't I? If I can, maybe even five nil. Really got to push it, trying to get the touchdowns now. Got a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. Right. Who wants one? He does. So he wants to get a completion to this warrior. Warrior can score in three and then two and then three, can't he? Maybe he's four and then three and then four. Maybe he just gets three touchdowns. Oh, he could score. Big boy. Completion for him. I put him through the floor. Completion for him, and then he scores, and then see what happens after that. Oh yeah, the guy needs piling on. Oh, now you're thinking. He's on 45, he could score two. This gets him his one square of movement to score in three. Sadly no cas though. They still all die. <laughs> I thought I thought every block was a cast. What's going on? Why isn't that the case? Is the game bugged? I just want the cheap cars on the fucking goblins. Oh no! Also, I want to control the goblins with tackle. He can go for the pick up handoff, can't he?
for it on Steam for her. <laughs> well, it's not Sage's turns missed, is it? It's Fumbles. It's one aspect of Fumbles thing. Um, in the in the chat, in the chat on the Thursday group thing, Shawnee, um, Sage requested a feature that Fumble has, which tells you how many turns each play. Well, no, he didn't. He twisted it around and made it a worse version of what Fumble has. Which is what Fumble has is it has every player on the side, like you know, one to sixteen, and then, well, you know you play Fumble, right? And it says how many turns they played in the match, which would be a really good thing to have. Um, it would be a really good thing. Um, the gobs are armor nine. Yeah, the only thing that are armor nine in this game. So yeah, it would be good because yeah, obviously a turn one cars is much much more influential than a turn sixteen one. Etc. Etc. Because the turns missed would be too bollocks. Because you know if people have got reserves, the turns missed don't don't tell you anything. Total turns on the pitch is would be the would be the would, is the best stat, isn't it? Because it should be like what eleven times sixteen, if it was uh, perfect. So then you've you've got a solid baseline that's the same for every team, then isn't it? Whereas if you make it, uh, if you were to make it turns miss, you wouldn't be able to tell anything. If it was an eleven man team, it'd be different to a team or a fifteen man team. So yeah, I thought that the turns miss was weird. <laughs> Quite frankly. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he wants to go up to there. Um, yeah, I've got two dices already. I guess I should make that a three, shouldn't I? No reason not to. Just laziness. Just laziness because I know I've won. it fuck it <sighs> skilling him would have been really nice just quietly yeah I saw that Sean he fucking Corleon's top in he like 23-0 or something ridiculous fucking dwarves man Draws are a hard team to qualify with because they will get those again, they'll get those silly records, won't they? Exactly, laziness could still get a play killed. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly, exactly, school dude. Um, yeah, as if I'm not going to win this game at least 3 0, that's true, but yeah, you still got to focus because carelessness can get a player killed or, you know, stop somebody getting star player points also. So yeah, you still got to focus and grind it out. Tackle man in the right place at the right time. I imagine he's got the ball then. Fucking hell. Four, five, six. So 
Hmm. Can't make it three on him. I think three D and the goblins greedier, but more fun. More likely to get star player points, isn't it? Is the is the thing. So now it's the the fucking Adj2 guy who's got to try and get two touchdowns, which is going to be a bit of a ball ache. I think this settles pretty decent actually, the guards to protect them a little bit. Still a chance. <laughs> yeah, glad I didn't play Orcus. <laughs> Orcus, I would have been battling with this guy for fucking 16 turns, but Chaos are just like, roll some dice, win. <laughs> no thinking required. <laughs> It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it's could have passed this turn, but it's just so much harder though, isn't it? You know, I wanted to get the touchdown on him. I would rather... Touchdown for the guard warrior. Hmm. Arguable. Because he's just getting mighty blow, which isn't that good, is it? I think him getting to piling on would make a big difference having three pile on. And um, obviously he's more likely to get star player points for himself. Oh I've got I've got we'll see what happens. There's chances for everybody, isn't there? Still. A blood Oh god <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Oh, I'd have to GFI there. So that means he wants to just base then, right? Hope dog, base, base, base. Yeah, I guess it probably is better to go for the touchdowns with somebody who isn't agility too, isn't it? Who wants the pass, this guy? Don't have a safety. 
pretty shit play. I wanted to keep the claw mighty blow back as a safety and then realized I wanted to score with him. Holy shit, best game of 2017, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Best in terms of dice, yeah. Yeah, doesn't it, Eric, behind me, yeah. Yeah. That had to be an AFK or something. It doesn't have to be collusion, but even AFK would be hard to... Hard to win 7 0. <laughs> oh, glorious! Thank you much. For, thank you very much. Fill the thrill. Thanks for this Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Thank you very, very much. Glorious! And uh, you get the sweet emotes and a new emote soon to come, which don't know what it is. Something to do with Jim Fowl. It's got to be a Jim Fowl emote, hasn't it? I don't know what it'll be, though. How do you win 7 nils with dwarves? I don't think you do, Stotty. But somebody in the World Cup qualifiers, you know, won his first game. Or maybe, I don't know if it was his first game, but one of his games he won 7 nil against dwarves. And, no, with dwarves. The top dwarf qualifier for the World Cup on the ladder won 7 0 with dwarves. So now, to me, that makes me think as if you know he was cheating. But having said that, it's hard to say he was just cheating because look at you know the likes of uh, Burn that people didn't consent to what Burn was doing. So. He could get a pass to the guard guy. Because he can still try to get Kaz can in this game. Just thinking I should probably make that free dice if I can, I didn't look at it. I don't think I could have made it free dice. Try to do this pass without rerolls. God did it. <laughs> Brilliant. So that's him levelled up. And him levelled up, hopefully. Big boy. And then there'll be two turns to try and get him two touchdowns with Agility 4. Hmm. Agility 4, Agility 2. Different than the last dog game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> In hindsight, I think this old team could have benefited from using his adjustment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that would have been an idea. <laughs> uh. oh, oh yeah, I could have scored this turn. Maybe. Oh yeah. gosh, oh, shit. Oh yeah. No, I don't think I could with Warrior. Getting the fouls in, you're getting the digs in. Oh, 
claw hit next turn. God, what a game this is. Yeah, the burn trolling. Yeah, there might be another burn troll, but I'll never know because I, I keep him away. <laughs> right, so I guess I go for the three dice blitz on him. Can't get three dice with this guy. He gets a Kaz though, right? So now it's uh, oh, hard for him to get a completion, but if he gets a touchdown and a Kaz, he's alright. Three turns left. Not enough space for his cats. <laughs> Alright, so three turns. I guess these can come forward one. And then, because there might be a blitz, might there? Three guys versus. No, four guys he's got versus 11. Alright, he's still got a chance. <laughs> Anything could happen. <laughs> Yeah, he should have just conceded. To be for TBH. <laughs> yeah, Monog <no>, Joe. <laughs> Rolling like Lupa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is glorious. Cool school. Yeah, the rookie is at six. I mean, I could have got more more on him, you know, to put him in range of MVP and stuff. But uh, I think getting him in 31 is good. Yeah, if he makes a Kaz, or you know, he's not going to get a completion easy with agility too. But if he makes a Kaz, and gets a touchdown, he can just get him a touchdown and put him in range. Maybe. Caught dogging. <laughs> oh, man. He made a two dice block. I should have. I should have not allowed that to happen. Because any any block can be a death, can it? I should have maybe thought about it more. Or what was going on the other way. Still got that guard. Yeah, I mean, he, he can't win, obviously. He can't draw or anything. He had, he had no chance after about the first three turns. But he can still kill players, can't he? That, that, like, that's the thing. You've got to be, you've got to be vigilant. Safety. Oh, I've got the wrestler to do that job, never mind.
I can't re-roll this, I shouldn't have done it. Kill the skinks. <laughs> yeah, if only it was this easy every time, eh? <laughs> I mean, World Claw Bomb would be really, really overpowered if this happened every time. But, um... God, it's good when you're lucky, isn't it? Feels good to be lucky. Yeah, exactly, Scroll Rude, yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? In Skaven and Norse. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly, Spawn of Cthulhu. He might punt, but if he does punt, I've just got the Sure Hands guy back, so. That's what I was thinking, have the Sure Hands guy back in case of a punt, so that at least I'll be able to pick it up for sure. <laughs> Made it three, I guess. I guess I could have made that three. Six he's already leveled, that's good. Cool. Oh, there's a fucking goblin there. One, two, three, four, five. Double GFI, so I can make a GFI now or a handoff next turn. I can make a GFI now, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, super VIP, full piece and colder. It is Pete Dunsity for once. For once. I mean, yeah, you say that. You say that, Whiskey Dick. But, it's fucking, I'm not used to it. It's been so long since I've done this to somebody. But then, that's normally because they concede on turn two or three when it, when, when, there's gonna, when it's going to happen. And I mean, I conceded when it was going to happen to me as well. Hard to score on the claw, mate. You will be coming now, mate. I mean, he's agility too, anyway, so I wasn't that good. Odds. But now it's really low odds. <laughs> Two dice in. Can I still three dice in? Three assists? Maybe. Thank you. 
Probably shouldn't have made that jewel for me. Mm-hmm. That seems a rather Jimmy-like scatter, doesn't it? get one I guess him because then it's uh or GFI and then throw it to him. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, so it's gonna be GFI anyway, so I might as well do it with this guy. And pass it to Warrior. Yeah, exactly, Irish exit, yeah. It wasn't good for his team, because he got more deaths because of it. But yeah, fair play to him for, for seeing it out. Oh, <laughs> man. Gosh, what a glorious result. Okay, so I didn't know this. Oh, interesting. Reroll one, yes, please. Okay, worked. 25 AB breaks to five. <laughs> okay, now. 35 blocks. 25 AB breaks. I'm not even sure I foul. Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly in Britain Augustus, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a nail by it, but it was glorious. Ah, yeah, maybe by cakes, yeah, maybe. That was fucking crazy. Oh, I'm a 19. 61% breaks. <laughs> Holy shit. That was unbelievable. That was glorious. So sometimes lucky there. Four levels. I think I'd take dodge there if, he, if it's a double. Like blodge. Blodge guard strength four is pretty decent, isn't it? No, so this, this is going to be a tough one to select. Because frenzy is good, isn't it? With strength four. Tackle would be fine. Mighty Blow would be fine. Mm, plus Strength would be fine there. Oh god, it's the Rookie though. Shit. Oh shit. I don't know. <laughs> Block might be better. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh man, why couldn't that have been on the Block Guard guy? It would have been perfect on the Block Guard guy. He got movement. I mean, I guess I guess he'll go mighty blow. Could go tentacles though. There's an argument for tense, isn't there? Just block guard tense. Guess mighty blow. There's still time to get claw on him. Interesting set of level ups. This is a good dirty player, a hundred percent. I think. And then, what's what's something Christmas? That pudding fago, pudding fago has gone, hasn't he? There should be a Christmas pudding fago, of course. Scruff fago. <laughs> nice. So 
that's 12. <laughs> because it's his first skill, and I'd rather have block. That's why I can think about plus strength. If the block guard guy got strength, it would have been strength 100% without thinking about it for a second. But, um, yeah, it's more blow, isn't it? That would be the thing. And, yeah, I don't know what to take on him. I'd like to double on him for dodge, really. That would have been the best thing, I think. Strength 4, blodge guard would make up for the armor 8 a bit. And I just wanted to take block on him, to be honest. And him, I don't know, maybe he's, maybe he's mighty blow. Mighty blow's never bad, is it? And then there's four guys who can punch people, which is nice. Yeah, frenzy would be good. Tackle would be would be fine, just because I'm I'm desperate for it. I'd really like all the strength four to have tackle or frenzy. Uh, the, you know the two both both strength four beasts I would like to have. Well, no, the four positional beasts I would like to have tackle or frenzy. Um, right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.